You are amazing. All right. So wait. So then, when did you t- talk about the book? Because the book is actually, you know, part of your value proposition in terms of what you do really well and pitching and teaching people how to sell themselves and, like you said, standing their power and being bold. So where did the? How did the book come out? I mean, it just came out recently. So yeah, my book came out uh, um, October twenty eighth. It debuted at number one. Okay, so my book is called Bad Bitches and Power Pitches for Women Entrepreneurs and Speakers Only. And I wrote it for women entrepreneurs and speakers to really get out of your own way. And there are seven branding bitches that I talk about in this book. And they go from the unstoppable bitch <clears throat> all the way to the numbers bitch. And when you see your particular characteristics of how you live your life, how you operate in the world, it then teaches you from that particular characteristic of that particular branding bitch how to truly write the pitch based on who you are. And then leading with that. So there's a coaching corner in there. There, There's different illustrations of different women who meet that particular branding bitch and that you can actually see yourself in. And then it gives you a little bit of my story because until you've met a bad bitch, you have no concept of who she is. You have no concept. You're just like, oh, okay. But when you meet someone who literally came from nothing and built their company up into a multi-six-figure company with by themselves, It shows you what's possible. So my gift is the gift of speech. I can talk my way into television. I can talk my way into radio. I can talk my way into podcasts. I can talk my way into anything. I can talk my way out of it, too. That is a gift that comes from being in the hood, I guess. (laughs) And it also comes from from being a being, just being competent in what I do. Well, that's one of the huge... Uh, challenges that our women have, these young women coming out of college, is the confidence. You know, mm-hmm. they can be amazing, they can be beautiful inside and out, have all of these talents, and they still do not have the confidence that gets them to the next level. So, what do you think? Right. Uh, what, what's your suggestion for them? What's, what advice do you have for these graduates that are launching um, to work on their confidence? So I think the greatest thing that to work on their confidence is actually to see themselves as they want, as, as they, as they want to. Like I, I, I think of myself as Wonder Woman or the, the female MacGyver of business. I think of myself as a female MacGyver of business. And so when I think of when I'm in a challenging situation, what do I go to? What would MacGyver do? Take two toothpicks and, and, and Jimmy the door lock and get through the door or go up under it or go above it. You're always thinking of ingenious ways. Number two, you have to affirm yourself no matter what, no matter who talks to you, no matter who tells you that you're a bum, you're slug in a ditch and you're nobody important. What I want you to know is you are, if you have breath in your body, you have purpose on this earth. Your purpose is not for people to co-sign on your dream. It's for you to achieve it. And you allow other people to have the permission to go after their dreams. And number three, you need a challenging crew in front of, uh, around you. If your crew is just made up of girls who are just like, oh, my God, everything you do is great, you're in the wrong crew. You need to be around women who are like, I love you. Step your game up. Step it up. Step it up. Because we don't play in these streets. We don't play. We want to see you at the top of your, uh, top of your game. And if you're feeling depressed, they're, they're there to hold your hand, but also to kick your butt, too. I have – I never realized how much I needed my crew until I couldn't do it by myself. And they told me, get up. I'll be at your door. It's time. It's time, it's time to get it together. I'm not I was going to yeah, ask you about that. I was going to ask you, do you have a girl posse? Because I think that that, you know, is a huge sign of success when people have people around them, right? I mean, CEOs can't right. do it alone, right? They have a team. Right. So it's, it's very similar. So how did you, who are these, these crew? What is this crew like that you have? Like, who are they? Were they, are they friends? So of yours? my crew, I have to be honest, my crew is really made up of entrepreneurs and speakers. Honestly, it's, you know, my girl, Kiana, my girl, Andrea, uh, my girl, Kimberly, um, my sororers, uh, women I went to college with, like, these are the women that I aspire to be like. And now we're all, we're all on this journey together pushing each other to greatness. I have my girl, Andrea. She is uh, pitching for the Tommy Hill figure, 150,000 euro big pitch competition in Amsterdam. Do you know we talk all the time because I want her, listen, kill it. Kill it. Kill it. Break it so it's forever broke. You go in there and you kill it. 
you know, or my girl, uh, or my girl Kiana, who has a three day summit coming up and she's doing all of this and that. And then I have, you know, women who play golf and they want to bring more women of color into the golf, in, into golf, or, you know, my, my women friends who are in entertainment, who are behind the scenes and are helping me get to where I need to go. Those relationships didn't just happen overnight. They happened because I, I, I was vulnerable and I told them I was struggling and they said, you won't struggle alone. We got your back. We got your back. Yeah, sisters. my girl Tori, my girl Tori, who was my client at one time, she wrote a best-selling Amazon best-selling book. I went down to visit her, and she gave me a book. And there was a woman sitting next to us, and they wanted to buy the book. And then when I, everywhere I went, people wanted to buy the book. And she said, "How come when you come into town, everybody wants to buy the book?" I said, "Because I'm a second person. When it's just you, it's you. When you got somebody else who loves you, they'll they'll broadcast it to the world because they want to see you successful. That's what a girl posse does." They're not there for themselves. They want to make sure that I, listen, I got, where my girl's at? From the front to back. Well, is you feeling that? Put one hand up. Can you repeat that? Yeah, that's what I'm telling you. That's what it's like. Where my girl's at. It's so true. It's all about the sisterhood. All about the sisterhood. Yes. For real. Yeah. So I'm so inspired by you. I just really am. And your big, sexy vision. What What is your big, sexy vision Going forward, I mean, we see it now. Going forward, so yeah. going forward, I have the Bad Bitches and Power Pitches live three day experience that's coming up, Ooh. and it'll be in August. And for two days, you're gonna two days. I'm gonna take only taking 25 women, only taking 25 women, no more than 35, just in case 10 more, but whatever. And it's a it's a by application process. And you have to be vetted, but there are 25 to 35 women who I'm going to personally select who are going to come to New York, and they are going to be taught the best in pitching, branding, and public speaking. On that third day, on that third day, they're going to pitch live to media and to investors. So unlike other conferences where you learn a lot and you hope that you can take it somewhere else, you're going to do it live. I want people to come out with investments, and I want them to come out with media appearances. that will take their businesses, their brands, their speaking um, platforms to the next level. I've never yeah. seen it done before, and I'm going to do it. And I'm, I'm, listen, I don't care if anybody wants to run off with the idea. You can't do it like brushes. You can't Nobody do it can. Like yeah, that, no. Nobody it can. Like... <laughs> no. Awesome. Oh, well, how do, so, our, so it's gonna... how do our girls find out? Like, how do they get, uh, how do they apply to it? Because maybe some some of these guys would be really interested, you know, to okay, think about so... this. Okay, so. So I definitely want I definitely want the ladies to go to to email me at precious at perfectpitchesbyprecious dot com. Hopefully they'll be able to write that out. But precious at perfectpitchesbyprecious dot com and express your interest to me, right? And then I will send you information and in an application form, and then we'll we'll take it from there. We'll take it from there. But you're not you're not pitching to little people. You're pitching to the biggest, to the big. And so that requires an investment, but also also you're gonna win big. Because where else are you going to meet media and investors in the same room who are ready to work with you? Amazing. I'm all over that. I can't wait to put that in my blog. Yeah. I know, right? That is hot, girl. Hot, hot, hot. Yes, so it's a Bad Bitches and Power Pitches live three-day experience. Live three-day experience in New York City. It doesn't get better than that. In New York City, yep. I even had people fighting over where, like, where to, where to have it. I have people fighting, like, listen, have it here, have it here. And I'm like, wow. I was like, I'm just a black woman, and I got people fighting over me. Okay, I'm with it. I'm with <laughs> it. All queen. right. No, you are a queen, okay? We know. I, I mean, am a queen. I'm just I am a black a queen. woman. You are a confident queen. Yeah. Yes, yes. But I'm very excited. I'm very excited. And tonight I'm speaking at the eWomen Network um, chapter that's in Westchester. So I'm, I'm speaking about hashtag rockstar confidence, how to be bold, stand out, and get media attention now. So, you know, I speak all over the world and I'm booked and busy. And so I want to teach young women and I want to teach women speakers and entrepreneurs that literally you can have what you want. You just have to, you just have to step out there. Yeah, I, I, but 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 there's there's strategy behind that, right? I mean, that's of course, your, that's of course, your you, you, sauce. yeah, that's yes, your yes, yes. Sauce. I teach, I definitely teach strategy. I mean, it's so it's easier said than done, for real. It's it's you, you think you can do it, and then something gets in your way, and then you know, but oh, just be prepared. Just something will get moving. in your way, definitely, definitely. Yeah, for sure. Something will get in your way. Trust me, it will. And I'll say, how bad do you want it? How bad do you want it? Well, when, I walk. I walk through homelessness to get here. 
Yeah, I mean, I lost everything three years ago to get here. Your story is is insane. I, I, but okay, so in terms of things getting in their way, what are some of the most common challenges? You know that you see the most. The most common challenges I feel are self-imposed. There's there, there's a fear, worry, and self-doubt. When you start, people like to say, "Oh, I'm worried about what other people are saying." No, no, you're worried about what you're what you're going to say to yourself. So okay. I think that that's the I think those are the worst things. And then compound it with what are what are other people going to say? I'm like, you let's let's let, what did Bonnie Ray say? Let's give him something to talk about. Let's give him yeah. something to talk about. If you're going to talk about me, I'm going to give you something to talk about. I'm going to give so you something I, to talk about right now. I got I got to close. Yes. It's time, girlfriend. It's we time. We to you all night, but we got to close, and I know you know what that is. So I want to say thank you to Precious for being with us here today and all of your amazing energy. And everybody, please go check out that three-day experience. Super cool idea uh, as you move forward, no matter what you do. I mean, you need that energy. Thank you, Miss Precious. Thank um, you for having me. I've been oh. so delighted. I am blessed to have you in my life. We are blessed to have you on the network. And all you sisters out there, thanks for being with us. Check out the group coaching online, our live group coaching. Until then, get out there, be bold, slay dragons.